Mr. Speaker, I'd like to challenge the ruling of the chair. Um, the amendment is not substantially similar whatsoever. Um, my colleague, the gentleman from the 78th Amendment, would have required a viewing of a video and a special informed consent uh, situation. My amendment is very different. Um, as a woman, I know what it's like to experience a physical examination, to go to a gynecologist's office, to have your legs up in stirrups. I know what that's like. And if you guys want to regulate this in this body, then you can stand here and listen to me speak about it. This amendment offers equivalence. Hmm? We already have some of the most restrictive, burdensome, punishing, discriminatory laws on the books already in this state. And unfortunately, I'm sorry to say that my Democratic colleagues were not willing to repeal them when we had the chance, when we had the power to do so. And yet, every session we come here, and people want to add more and more and more. We're not requiring people to watch a video. We're, requir we're destroying the informed consent process between women and their doctors, between a patient and a physician. That's a sacred relationship. I'm not a physician, but I am a patient. And I damn well want my doctor giving me medical information that is accurate, that is tailored to my individual needs as a patient, my situation and my circumstance, not reading a script that was handed to him by a politician that doesn't respect me as a, an equal person. Could, able could to I ask the choices. speaker what you being a patient has to do with erectile dysfunction? Mr. Speaker, yes, I will get to the point. That would be good. My amendment says that no person may prescribe for a man a medication to treat erectile dysfunction unless a physician performs a rectal examination and a cardiac stress test on the man. This bill requires a physical exam on a woman. And I think if someone is going to get a very serious medication, which as we've just heard has a lot of different risks, that he should be required to do the same thing as a woman and require a physical examination. It is not too much to ask, and it is certainly not the same thing. And by the groans that we heard on the, in the, from the men all across this room and some of the women, uh, maybe in sympathy, we understand that there is a big difference between watching a video and having a delay and having your body assaulted in a way that is not voluntary. That's what this amendment gets to the heart of it, is not the same thing. This amendment is certainly not dilatory. Um, but I think it really does get to the heart of what's going on here. And um, while some of you may have thought that the last amendments that we offered were funny because they have to do with erectile dysfunction and that's funny because it's about men having sex, this whole debate is not funny because it's about women's bodies, women's health, women's lives. This amendment really just gets us to the heart of what this bill is about, interfering with the doctor-patient relationship. Now, I believe we do have some doctors in this body, and um, I'm sorry, I don't know which district number the doctors come from, Mr. Speaker. The 28th, thank you. Uh, I'm wondering if the gentleman from the 28th would yield to a question. He does, he says sure, one. Okay. So. Gentleman from the 28th, doctor, I assume that when you do an informed consent with a patient, it's not just you shoving a form in their face and saying, here, sign this, but it's uh, a conversation that's based on your relationship with that patient, that patient's individualized medical situation, and the ongoing um, treatment and options and risks and benefits, In i.e., it's individualized, it's patient-centered, and it's a conversation, that, and, and that's how you do informed consent. Is that correct? The doctor from the 28th. Yes, we do have a conversation. Um, generally, since I work in an ER, a lot of times I don't have a relationship with the patient. Uh, and if we're talking about a situation where the woman is pregnant, we do have to always be informing them that it, it could actually kill their baby. So that is, uh, you know, that, that's a difficult conversation to have to. Gentlelady from the 81st. Okay, well, I'm not sure what the second half of that answer was, but the first half is yes, it's a conversation. So I appreciate that. And I take it that the gentleman from the 28th would not like it 
if I started writing out little scripts and contracts, I mean, I'm a lawyer, so I could write some really interesting legalese and just say, hey, this is what you're going to do for your patient from now on. It doesn't matter if it's medically accurate or medically necessary or not. Um, basically, with this bill, we're trying to put ourselves as politicians right inside that examination room with the doctor and the patient. And just as much as I'm sure the gentleman from the 28th would not like it, if I popped into the exam room when he's uh, taking care of a patient in an emergency situation, I do not like it as a patient when all of my colleagues here in this chamber want to be right in there when I'm getting my annual pap smear. I would prefer that you guys not be in the room. No offense. Um, so this amendment just says that when a woman is getting the state-mandated lecture, the shaming lecture that's required under this bill, a member of the legislature should be present in that examination room um, so that you know, so that we as a legislator can, can offer our own personal suggestions and thoughts and ideas to both the patient and the physician. And I think that's reasonable given the confines of this bill. Now, um, I realize that many patients wouldn't appreciate having their own personal state shamer, but I think we have to be realistic about what the impact of this bill is and, and make it real. So I would ask all of us who are going to insert ourselves into the doctor-patient relationship, let's get real. Let's actually commit to standing in that room with a doctor and a, and a woman or a patient like me and interfering in that relationship. Please don't table this amendment. Thank you. Question before the body is tabling Assembly Amendment 2 to Senate Bill 306. All in favor of tabling, vote aye. All opposed.